Israel is known for having one of the world's best intelligences and a top-class military. But in 2023, it was caught unaware in one of the deadliest attacks on its soil since the 1973 Yom Kippur War. But before we understand why exactly Israel was caught off guard, it's important to know why it's so surprising that it was. Israel has three intelligence agencies. Shin Bet, the country's internal security organization. They look for signs for sabotage, terror activities within the country, and political security threats. Aman, Israel's military intelligence. It's one of the best technical intelligence agencies in the world. Mossad, this is pretty much Israel's spy agency. They dabble in covert operations, foreign espionage, and is likely the second largest intelligence organization in the world after the US's CIA. Let's imagine your country attacked by 3,500 rockets. Your territory is infiltrated by death squads. What would you do? What would you demand that your government do to protect you and your family? Now, Mossad, which was established in 1949, has a bit of a reputation as well. In 1972, during the Munich Olympics, there was an attack on the Israeli athletes by the Palestinian group Black September. A botched rescue operation by the German police resulted in the death of all the Israeli athletes. All we are thinking of is how to get the hell out of here. So, what did Israel do? Over the next seven years, Mossad targeted and killed every person directly or indirectly involved with the Munich massacre in an operation which they called Wrath of God. Israel was also the brains behind surveillance softwares like Pegasus, a spyware which could infiltrate a mobile phone and get the phone numbers, call logs, search history, social media activity, passwords, messages and cameras without the user ever finding out about it. Israeli Sarkar is ka classification. Deti hai. Israel also has its crown jewel of air defense systems, the Iron Dome. This Iron Dome is meant to shoot down missiles, rockets, or any other projectiles coming towards the country. Last summer, millions of Israelis were protected from thousands of Hamas rockets because this capital dome helped build our Iron Dome. So, how was Hamas able to carry out such a large-scale, multi-pronged attack on Israel on October 7, 2023? Intelligence officials in Israel, the US and other places believe that Hamas went low-tech to avoid detection. They probably broke into small groups and communicated individually. Beth Sanna, a former American intelligence official, told Bloomberg. Middle East policy expert Andrew Exum believed that Israel had an excellent air force and special operation units, but its conventional troops were mostly conscripts, who weren't very well trained. So, while in a state versus state conflict with its neighbors, Israel's military might have an advantage, Exum said that it was probably not the case when facing non-state, well-disciplined forces like Hamas or Hezbollah. A report by Reuters also pointed towards a long-term ploy, where Hamas essentially convinced Israel that they weren't interested in fighting, and instead they wanted Gaza residents to be able to cross the border for work. After the Hamas attack in 2023, Israel formally declared war and announced a total blockade of the Gaza Strip. 